everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve this differential equation which is in m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve 2y sin x plus cos y into dx equals to x sin y plus 2 cos x plus tan y into dy. Solution. Given differential equation. Two y sine x plus cos y into dx equals to x sine y plus two cos x plus tan y into dy. You can rewrite it as two y sine x plus cos y into dx minus or Simply by taking this to LHS, you will get minus of x sine y plus 2 cos x plus tan y into dy equals to 0, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right, where m equals to 2y sin x plus cos y and n equals to minus of x sin y plus 2 cos x plus tan y. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. So, we need to find partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. This is your m. And n equals to minus of okay. Now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Do y do y of for m equals to two y sine x plus cos y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x and function containing x as constant. So here 2n sine x will be constant. So this equals to dou y dou y of 2y sine x plus dou y dou y of cos y. This equals to constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus derivative of partial derivative of cos, uh, cos y with respect to y is minus sine y is equals to 2 sine x into you can write this as do y by do y plus into minus minus sine y is equals to sine x partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus sine y is equals to 2 sine x minus sine y. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to n is Minus sine y. Okay. Now we'll find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do y do x or minus into x sine y 
minus into plus minus 2 cos x minus into plus minus tan y. This equals to, here we are doing partial derivative with, with respect to x. So, we will treat y as constant or the function containing y will be constant. 2 is also constant. Is equals to dou y to x of minus x sin y minus dou y to x of 2 cos x minus dou y to x of tan y is equals to minus constant minus sin y into partial derivative of x with respect to x minus constant into partial derivative of cos x minus partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0. This is equals to minus sin y into you can write this as partial derivative of x with respect to x minus 2 into partial derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x this equals to minus sin y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 minus into minus plus 2 sin x this equals to 2 sin x minus sin y okay Therefore, partial derivative of n with respect to x is 2 sin x minus sin y. Right. Therefore, partial derivative of n with respect to y is equal to 2 sin x minus sin y, which is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, do m by do y equals to do n by do x. Since do n by do y is equal to do n by do x, from this we can say that the given differential equation that is 1, if you consider the given differential equation as 1, is an exact equation. Okay. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given exact differential equation. Therefore, we know that the general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. Okay. So now consider the first integral, integral over x m into dx. That is integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. Is equals to integral for m equals to 2y sin x plus cos y into dx. Okay, here y is treated as constant, so y and cos y will be constants. Okay, the function containing constant is also a constant. The 2 is also constant, so you can write this as Integral 2y sin x, firstly we'll split this. Integral 2y sin x dx plus integral cos y dx. Now, write the constants outside the integral. Constant into integral 
साइन एक्स डीएक्स प्लस कांस्टेंट इंटीग्रल डीएक्स इज इक्वल टू टू वाई इनटू इंटीग्रल साइन एक्स इस माइनस कॉस एक्स प्लस कॉस वाई इनटू इंटीग्रल डीएक्स इस एक्स Therefore, integral over x m into dx is minus 2y cos x plus x cos y. Okay. Now, consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n. Free from x into dy. We are having n equals to minus of x sine y plus 2 cos x plus tan y. Now find the term which is free from x. It contains x. The second term also contains x. But the third term does not contain x. So... The terms of n which is free from x is tan y is equal to integral terms of n free from x is tan y into dy. We are having minus right. So take minus. Okay. Is equal to minus integral tan y dy equals to minus log secant y. Since integral tan theta d theta equals to log secant theta. Now coming to the general solution, final conclusion. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is the result obtained from the first integral minus 2y cos x plus x cos y plus the result obtained from the second integral that is minus log secant y equals to constant c. Okay. If you want you can take minus common from LHS. Minus of 2y cos x minus x cos y plus log secant y equals to c. Then 2y cos x minus x cos y plus log secant y equals to this minus into c. Okay. Simply multiplying this by minus, I can see. Okay. Or by taking this minus to LHS. Then 2y cos x minus x cos y plus log secant y equals to since c being constant, you can write minus c as c. This is the general solution. Okay. Simply you can multiply the above with minus on both sides. Clear. Minus into minus 
becomes plus and c being constant so we can write minus c as c okay fine so we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye